Well, hi to my YouTube subscribers. Well, I recently got a comment from Kyo Pa. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that name right. And I thought this was a comment that a lot of my viewers would be interested in. I have gotten other comments on this issue. So let me just read this to you. It says, Hi Robert, my mother-in-law is leaving for Thailand next week, Friday. She has round-trip tickets that are 80 days, but got approved for a Thai visa for a 60-day stay. Will that be an issue for her to enter Thailand as her outward ticket is 20 days later? That is, the outward ticket is 20 days after the 60-day period for which she's getting a stamp. Uh, so she'll be entering Thailand on January 1st, and her outbound plane ticket is on March 19th. I'm unsure if I should get her a one-way ticket for outbound just in case. She's planning to extend her visa stay before her 60-day visa expires. Please help me. Thank you. So this is a really common question. Most people who come on a 60-day tourist visa are planning to extend to 90 days. And in fact, many people who come on a 45-day visa exemption are planning to extend for 30 days. So they're really planning on staying 75 days. What happens though, if their return ticket is dated for more than 60 days for a tourist visa, or more than 45 days for a visa exemption. So I'm gonna read my answer to Kyo Pa. Hi Kyo. As far as Thai immigration is concerned, she'll be fine. If you come on a 60-day visa, Thai immigration assumes that you will extend your stay by 30 days. Your return or onward ticket must be within 90 days of your arrival. So no problem at all for your mother-in-law. But there are a couple of airlines, JAL, Japan Airlines, and Air Canada that I know of, that won't let you board your flight to Thailand unless you show them a return or onward ticket dated within 60 days of your arrival. And that's within 45 days of your arrival if you're coming on a visa exemption. They follow a rule that's more strict than Thai immigration. So what you need to do is contact the airline ahead of time to make sure that they will not require an onward or return ticket dated within 60 days in your case. If the airline tells you that she won't have a problem, then you're all set. Or she could just go to the airport early on the day of her flight. If the airline gives her a problem because her return or onward ticket is dated within 80 days versus 60 days, then she'll have time to buy a throwaway onward ticket dated within the 60 days. Or she could use bookonwardticket.com to buy a throwaway ticket for $10. And I made a video about this using bookonwardticket.com. This can be a very cheap alternative if what you need is just a throwaway onward or return ticket for a particular date. I've made a video on this and I put a link to that video in the description. I'm going to interrupt the video here for a very brief advertisement for something that's free. Audible is letting me give away some copies of my audiobook, The Vientiane Affair, to people who would like to read and review the book. There's no obligation to review it. You can get a free copy, listen to it, and decide if you want to review it. I'd certainly appreciate it if you did write a review. Just write to me at bob at robertsultan.com. That email address is in the description. Write to me, tell me you're interested in getting a free copy of the audiobook for review, and I'll send you an access code that will allow you to listen to the book. I think it's a very good story. It's got espionage, love, murder, sex, everything that makes up a good political thriller. And I hope you do enjoy it. So let me know if you'd like to do this. Okay, back to our video. Now, you could buy an onward ticket or throwaway ticket from bookonwardticket.com. You could do that before you go to the airport to avoid hassles. But I think the first step in any case is to call the airline and find out exactly what you need to show them before you board the plane. I have heard from a small number of people who've arrived at the airport but been stopped from boarding 
by particular airlines, but I think there are only a small number of airlines that check. Now, let me add also that using the $10 bookonwordticket.com ticket is a hack. This ticket can't be used as a real ticket. Now, if you look up the reservation using the reservation number, reservation number has six alphanumeric characters, you'll find what looks like a perfectly normal reservation. One viewer, however, pointed out that the ticket doesn't have a 13-digit ticket number. This could be detected by authorities. One person reported problems using such a ticket to enter Saudi Arabia. I have not heard from anyone traveling to Thailand who's had a problem with this. There may also be people who feel uncomfortable using a hack to get around immigration requirements. Those people should just buy a real onward ticket, which you can find on kayak.com, for example, or on your airline website. And you can buy a ticket to a neighboring country to go to Kuala Lumpur or Penang, Vientien, or Siem Reap. You can generally find a one-way ticket for about $60. So I know that a lot of people do find themselves in this situation. I've gotten this question quite a number of times, and thanks to Kia Pa for raising this issue and giving me the opportunity to make a video about it. So that's it for now. I wish everybody a very happy Western New Year.